Okay, we've taken the cooling chassis out of the cabinet. This is the opening that we slid it out of. Here it is, the complete cooling chassis. This part we're looking at right here, this is the condenser coil. This would be the outside part of the comfort pack. You got your condenser coil, condenser fan and motor, compressor. You got a low pressure switch and a high pressure switch, your liquid line dryer. That'd be all the components that you'd find in a condensing unit that sits on the ground. National Comfort Products adds these two lines that come to the, the front part of this divider plate, which gives us a liquid and suction line gauge port, so you can uh, service this with your gauges. <clears throat> we have a TXV. TXV bulb is here. I'm going to show you how to take the blower assembly out. If you need to change the blower motor, this is what you would do. If you have a whole blower assembly, it's a little simpler, but to start, we're going to remove the four screws that hold down this control back. <clears throat> and once we pull these out, we can pull the control back toward us, and that will give us access to the blower motor, which you can see here is a NIDEC, and there's two Molex plugs that disconnect the wiring. So that's done. Might have to take this green ground wire off of the blower assembly with a 5 16 uh, open end wrench or box wrench. <clears throat> Here you can see the TXV. These refrigeration lines have a little bit of give. They'll be in our way, but they uh, we can work around them. To get the blower out, assembly out, four screws here. And I'm gonna leave this last one right there kind of loose. And grab right here, and I'll take this last screw out, and you can lift the whole blower assembly up through past those refrigeration lines and remove the whole thing from the cabinet. Now, I didn't take that green wire off. So here you can take it off, and now you've got the whole blower assembly out. To put it back in, simply kind of roll it in around those refrigerant lines, snug those back up. Set your screws in. Like that. Then this this plate right here works as a pretty good handle. Go ahead and use it. You got Robin Mead in the background talking. And then just uh, don't forget plug your Molex plugs back in. You can't do this wrong. You got to. Control voltage Molex and line voltage Molex, and just stick those back in place. Push your control deck back on, add screws, and you're done. Slide the unit back in. You make, make sure you reinstall the air divider plate that goes in this section. There's four screws. I'll work this in over the wiring. Put the four screws back in and that completes the blower change out.